Hello, people. Welcome back to Tacos and Swarma with Mr. Organic, a.k.a. Dr. Organic, the pussyologist. Oh, my God. No, it's fine. You are. Hello, L. Hi. How you feeling today? I'm good. How are you? I'm just sipping on this organic rock star, getting my enthusiasm up through the roof. He, need, he needs a deal because every time he comes here, he drinks this uh, energy drink. Rock star highlight me, you know, especially organic one. Turn that C to the K and we can make some money <laughs> today. <laughs> Do you That's good. I see why you got don't that you, purple one. Thank you. Yeah, I do. Why don't what? Why don't you drink coffee? I, I got a, already got an addictive personality, but I'm more addicted to knowledge and creativism and, and you know, just extracurricular things that does with, you know, blessings and, you know, I'm into that. If I get some coffee, I'm going to be a dope fiend to the coffee. You know what I'm saying? I already was addicted to sugar. I didn't need coffee. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just never drunk it. Never drunk coffee in my life. But why? I don't know. I just seen it was so potent and powerful. You see them commercials, but gotta wake up and get my coffee or I'm not the same person. I'm like, damn, I don't want to be that. That sound like dope. That sounds like crack to well, me. What's that? I don't gotta do that. I drink this when I come here. I don't drink that every day. Mm -hmm. I do take pre workout when I work out. Right. But I'm not drinking an energy drink every day. Like I'm not I I've was never a, had an energy drink. I was before. addicted to sugar though. You know what I'm saying? I just shook What's that addicted off. to sugar mean? I mean I had to have candy like every day, tons of it. Is like, that addiction? Yeah, severe. What's tons of it? I mean like bags of it. Like I mean like motherfucker, you know, the king size Twizzler bag and then the big ass Hamburro gummy bear motherfucker. Like I was on that, like for severe. But I shook it now. I'm three months clean and sober. You know what I'm saying? From Are the you? sugar. Oh, most definitely. You know what I mean? Oh, no question. I guess it's sugar in this, but I'm talking about the candy. Yeah. I Like I said, I ain't got to do that every day. I'm cool. Do you like cookies or just candy? I can fuck around with some cookies every now and a little pastry every now and then. But mm -hmm. I had to eat candy like all the time, bags of that shit when I was on it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who follow me, they know that was like my kryptonite, you know? Mm. Superman had kryptonite, Mr. Organic had candy. It's not that bad. No, I'm There's good. worse ones, like drugs and shit. Yeah, so all I did is give me some good drugs are, Drugs are way better than candy. You think so? Yeah, I know so. Oh, shit. Better for you? Um, I don't know. Oh, I Feel would. better. Yeah, oh, got you. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I never did nothing. We got to yeah. remember that. I'm pure. So I know. Don't, don't put that into my metabolism. No, no, I'm not. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, but shout out to all you dope fiend motherfuckers out here, man. You're making people money. God bless you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. embarrassing. Stop it. You know what I mean? No vices, man. What about mushrooms? You consider that? A drug? I would never do no mushroom. I want to eat some fungus. All of those are weird. Like I'm not indulging in no fungi in my mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's little, really little pussy fun. got love, a little fermentation on there. Hey, eat that. But no, I'm not eating no mushrooms. Right, I don't want to convince you to, to do any drugs. Yeah, I don't cool. think I could anyway. No, it's impossible. I'm I'm right. ancient already. You know what I'm saying? I'm already yeah. a historical figure. I can't get but any. But we're new all vices. gonna die though. I, I'm, I, it's okay. I'm ready. I didn't did all I could do in life. I, I know, so you don't want to try things? No, not no high and expedite my death and I can't. Why would live you my you're life. not gonna die from mushrooms? People have died from smoking weed and got no, weird. No, they haven't. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. People have smoked weed, got weird, jumped out when those and did all type of shit they got their shit laced up no. plenty of times okay so you're trying to tell me no one ever smoked weed got a lace and some shit happened and they yeah, died like crackheads i mean people accidentally have it to them it happened to one of my cousins before okay he ain't been but the same i don't since. think you're gonna be laced with like mushrooms like are not gonna be laced with drugs i don't know what that is it's really good i think motherfucker hippie brain motherfuckers I, I mean i like a hippie woman hippie woman got good vagina they know how to you know what I'm saying? They know how to be enticing. They one with the earth, so they give it to you in a freeful manner. I like a hippie bitch. You do? You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. How many hippies did you meet before? I, I ran into a few of them. I go on a hunt for a good hippie bitch. You know Where what I'm saying? If I see them? a bitch with some tie-dye on with some goddamn one dread, especially if she white or something like that, ooh, we. You know what I'm saying? Some baggy little Wrangler jeans. Ooh, mismatched little shoes. She ready. You know what I'm saying? She going to be real enticing with that vagina. She's going to deliver it to you in a surplus. Really? Oh, yeah. Anybody out there, once again, I don't ever miss. If you know you run into a good hippie bitch, any aphrodisiac -ish bitch, like an Erica badu type, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, it goes, it goes for the white ones and the black ones, too, now. The crystal rock holders. You understand me? The incense burners. Mm -hmm. They're going to fuck you good. They can't wait because they won with the earth. They ain't got all, they free. What's bad pussy? Bad pussy is um dry Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We always spit start that motherfucker. We're going to get our nut off. But dry pussy, mm -hmm. okay? Stiff body women pussy. They too stiff. They like, this. oh, oh, hold on, stop. Uh, they stiff with the, the, the rigor mortis body pussy. Um, or a bitch that just too goddamn aggressive. Like when they be on top, but they be this on you flat top. And they ain't coming all the way up the dick. They just on you like this and just do that shit. Get off of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, tell or me. they try to fuck you back on when you're on top of a missionary. They try to fuck back in the air. Oh, you Stop don't like that? doing that. Don't do that. You hear me? It's embarrassing. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So you can run into some bad pussy, but like I said, for a guy, we're going to get ours off regardless, you know? No, I, mean? I get it. I'm just so, curious. Yeah, yeah. You can run into some bad shit. And then if the energy ain't right to keep it pure, it always throw you off. Because once you're done doing what you're doing, they want to touch you. So you'd be like, get your goddamn hands off me, motherfucker. Yeah, but all the girls that you sleep with, you're not even attracted to all them, right? I'm attracted to everyone I sleep with. I love them. Like, I'm, I, like, if I sleep with a woman, I got a real, like, connection with them. I don't sleep with no one unless I got that energy connection, you know, monumentally connected. I what can't do What about older it. women? I, I love an older woman because she know what she want. She, like she, older, like 50, 60? Yeah, I take me an old ancient motherfucking Golden Girls bitch. I used to love the Golden Girls. Yeah, because I Blanche. saw you say something about you being in some old white lady's basement doing. I, I, but I was just living life. I was just poor, paying six hundred dollars a month. Mm-hmm. I went and she won. I couldn't fuck her. She liked the one of the motherfucking uh, goblins off a of, uh, labyrinth. You know what I'm saying? The original oh, okay. labyrinth. Do your research, people. Okay. Oh, I thought you were like fucking an old. No, I couldn't do that one. I couldn't do that one. Like I got standards now. Don't get it misconstrued. Oh, well, definitely. <laughs> I got adhesive standards. That shit like sticky. I just don't go for anything. I got a, you know, mm-hmm. a threshold. What is it? Uh, um, it, Like I said, it has to look a certain way. You know what I'm saying? The energy definitely got to be right. I can't deal with no crazies. Mm. If a motherfucker crazy, that scared the shit out of me. Word. I got too much to lose, too much to go, too much to grow. And then on top of that, I know I'm going to give a motherfucker everything I got if I fuck with you like that. So I can't jeopardize the glory. You know what I'm saying? Because a motherfucker can't handle all this shit, you know? Yeah, because so, yeah. you know you're gonna piss them off. So most it's gonna happen. So let's you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Find a way to find a happy median. You know what I mean. Right. But at the same time, I'm growing as a man. But for sure, like I don't. It ain't too many times, especially now. Like when I be talking, sometimes it's in past tense. I had mm-hmm. a very you know outrageous life. So now this doctor organic. When I'm giving this talk, this is from a past tense sense. Mm-hmm. I'm not running wild like I used to. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm on cruise control. I got a speed limit now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm tamed a little bit. That's you know what right. I mean? But you already see one of them bears when they be in a the circuit. They still got them grab the motherfucker and fuck mangle his ass. I'm still that now. Don't come fucking with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm still a tiger that fucking bit sick, freaking Roy neck off. Mm-hmm. Don't come fuck with me. But I'm in the circus. You hear me? I'm You're calm. In the, you in the circus? But I'm dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. But I'm in the circus shit. But yeah, you. it's different variations, man. Now I'm at peace. I like to just... Have a good dialogue. Good energy is very important and get some understanding. I'm just not freelancing no more. You're moving to Miami? I don't know yet. I'm still weighing my options. Oh, you know what I'm I, saw you, I saw you post it on your Instagram. I didn't say I'm moving nowhere. Where did I say I'm moving somewhere? I didn't say nothing you yet. You said you're taking your talents to South Beach. That's just a good, that was my mood at the time. Shout out oh. to LeBron. You know what I mean? LeBron James one of my favorite basketball players. You hear me? Mm-hmm. But I was in South Beach um, and doing shout out to my guys fresh and fit. Mm-hmm. I was out there. Um, did their podcast on top of that. Um, I do have a situation that I signed that's going to be shooting out there. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. And on top of that, I always, um, always wanted to see how would it be to live in Miami. I never liked it that much when I went to visit because I went during like Memorial Weekend and all the wild niggers running around and all that shit. I ain't like, I ain't with all that wild niggerdom. So I don't like going during like festivals and uh, Memorial Beach. And I had to almost kill a few motherfuckers during them times. God. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be around you wild nigga hyenas. Show sure ain't. Mm-hmm. So this is the first time I really went besides last time going on Fresh and Fit. I went during a normal, normal time and I enjoyed it. It was like crazy, but I don't know. It's something about Miami I fuck with though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. The women is wild though. I like, it's an algorithm with the women out there, and they're all different species. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I mean, like Brazilians, Colombian, and goddamn, you got black, you got Haitian, you got Jamaican, you got, of course, you got the whites. You <laughs> like white girls? Who, me? Mm-hmm. I like all human women. Okay. I like a white woman too. I like good white, but I like a real American white. I don't like no black white. Listen to Gucci Man and shit, and you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wear a hat like this and shit, and goddamn, you know, I like a white woman listening to Taylor Swift, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Still bump an old back, an old throwback Christina Aguilera. I like oh a, 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 a Starbucks drinker, frappe or something, cappuccino. I don't want the bitch sitting drinking 40 ounces and shit and rolling blunts, and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Got up updated on the latest Jordans and all that bullshit. Get the fuck away from me. I like a regular European, Caucasian, Harvard white type. Mm. You know what I mean? But still understand the culture and understand the struggle of the black greatness. They want the craziest things. How are they going to be both of those things? Hey, I, I'm a picky motherfucker. I done told you. Now I just didn't go accept anything. You know what I mean? I'm picky yeah, okay. with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take what I take. Oh, get closer? 
Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm picky with it. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to my white son. And then when I like my black women, I like my black women distinguished. Oh, what does that mean? You know, so I like them top level. They got to be goddamn, yeah. I like them the same way I like the white. Mm -hmm. I don't want the ghetto like where I'm from in the hood and all that. No, I like a motherfucker, a good lawyer, a good real estate agent type situation. Wear them blouses. What's them blouse skirt type matching motherfucker wearing motherfuckers with the heels and all that? I like them type. Mm -hmm. Got some shit going on. Got their own beauty bars and all that. I can't do the regular. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. No, I take a regular white or a regular bottom black for sure. Mm. But I, the top black is the best though. Okay. That's what you prefer the best. Overall, yeah. I'm gonna go with that. But it, it's gonna be, you know what I mean. You gotta, you gotta find that though. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. a hard find to keep it pure. Is it? Yeah. What girls are getting money these days? That's what I'm saying though. So like, because when they get money, they got that independent mindset. Because we're trained different. You know, our households are raised different. When there is no dads around and stuff like that. So most black families or, or females, even they raised by their mom, and they tell them to be independent. You can do it on your own, which is cool. Mm -hmm. But goddamn, you got to relent to the God. You know what I mean? When a real deal monster come in there, you got to go ahead and relax. Mm -hmm. And some of them can, and that's the ones you should look for. But yeah. majority, they making money. They've been feeling themselves. They city girls and all this dumb ass shit. They going to fuck up the greatness. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you, it's something out there for sure, and I salute them and I appreciate them. You know what I mean? But it's hard to find now. But when you find them, they are the best. It's like anything in life. The hardest things to find is the best. That's true. You hear me? So that is how I feel about it, you know? It's different. I like them all, though. But in Miami, got them all different species. Miami you know? got pretty ass girls. It's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. God, they, I'm walking down the street. They just, you know what I'm saying? They, I don't, like, damn, I don't know if they ever seen this type of species. I'm thinking, like, it's more of me. But it's not like that. I'm like, okay. They fucking with this type of, you know what I'm saying, ferocious gargoyle. It's love, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And big. it was all, it got Asians. In. It's all different categories. I love different categories of, of, of women, too. I don't, I need them all. Oh, you know what God. I mean? I got to have a whole buffet. You know what I'm saying? I might want to go back and get the crab legs. You know, the crab legs, you know, the boss of crab. But I like the crab legs. I want some goddamn yogurt over here. Mm -hmm. I might want some motherfucking yogurt. carrots with the, with the salary. But then, I mean, some wings. You know what I'm saying? I want it all. Got to have it. Okay. And Miami got that, so I fuck with it. So you are going to Miami then? I don't. I just, hey, weigh my options. You know what I mean? I'm weighing the options. But I did see a, a, a condo I did like. And um, it was in one of my vlogs. And the, and the one I did like is actually... It got sold, you know what I'm saying? The ones on the 49th floor and all that. So I'm looking at another one, looking promising. But we're going to see. Mm. I'll make the announcement soon, you know what I mean? Okay. It's going to be a decision, similar to LeBron type. What did you say about girls who smoke vapes? Oh, girls that smoke vapes. Yeah. Man, like, what's up with that? Why are you, why are you smoking so many damn vape all day? Like, why are you on to that? Yeah. What is it? Is it the addiction or is the the, the the process of doing it? Like, why are you smoking so many damn vapes all the time? So many? Yeah. Like, you, I've never seen you not have it in your hand. Really? Yes. Every time I see you, you got a vape. Well, I used to smoke cigarettes a long time ago. Okay. So I, like, transitioned from cigarettes to vapes. And right. Now I'm just... I don't really smoke that much, but, you know, like, when I'm on the show, I, it's like a... I don't know. Like, if you... I have anxiety. Right. So it's, like, something I do. Yeah, some every girl I ever knew that smoked vape all day every day, freaks, freak. They just, I don't know something about that vape, and you smoke it all day. It must have boost that that agarim in that pussy or something. It has to. It's something to that. do with the libido or something in the vape. I don't know, but every girl I know that walked around a vape all day, you got into the crib, they be doing all type of calisthenics, backflips, monkey splits, and shit. You be like, damn, baby, is it the vape that <laughs> got no. you like that? Shit, I don't think so. That's what you be knowing. What? No, I'm just talking about the vape. No, no, the vape, the vape. You don't do back flips? No. Can you do the splits? Mm-mm. Ooh. Can't do a split. For real? For real. Oh, I had a girl one time that was in a circus or lay. Oh, shit. Lord have mercy. Huh? I'm talking about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ballerina. Yeah. On the fire. motherfucker pole. You that's me? fire. Like, what? I mean, toes this way, standing up, pick you up, like, boo, like, damn, baby. Yeah. You want to get an extracurricular? Like the strippers, some of them could really do some shit. I yeah. I've been watching them, I'm like, wow. Yeah, some people got to got to use them attributes to their advantage. Yeah, I You know like what I'm it. saying? But ain't nothing ever coming close to a real contortionist. Right. I had a contortionist from Circus Olay. Mm -hmm. Shout out to her. I don't like to say name, but I got to say what I got to say sometimes. But that was. <laughs> what happened to her? I mean, she she was a blessing, though. She used to bring me girls and shit, all type of shit. She bring you what? Yeah, bring me girls. She'd get out. Oh, you know, I got girls. that word of mouth dick. 
Yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah. Once I drop that dick, you tell your friend, you're going to tell the friend, we could do it again. You know what I mean? That's weird. It is. But hey, it's a blessing at the same time. Because now y'all going to be y'all gonna be more cohesive together. Like, oh, yeah, y'all be more, you know, lovey dovey. So you're just like a sex toy? That was the old me. I've been mm-hmm. used before and I need help. Since somebody gave me some help, I would have been used before. Mm-hmm. You know, I have. And I feel bad about that. No, you don't. It's trauma. You know hear I me? Mean? You have no trauma. They use me. Right. But I, it was you something like about it. it. I did. I'm, that's past tense. But yeah, mm. that contortion. I mean, I didn't had it on fucking on a bed on a you know foot to foot on the the headboard type mm-hmm. this way long way. And I'm standing up in the bed, and I'm just in the back of that motherfucker pick her up. You know I'm strong. You know, look at the arm. Let me ask you something. Okay. <laughs> you might go on a tangent, but what? No, go Were ahead. You? you got it. No, I'm done. I tore it up standing up like that. Do you look at yourself in the mirror when you're fucking? No, I'm not really looking in the mirror type guy. I'm a shy person for real. So mm-hmm. I ain't really looking in the mirror. I like lights off for the most part. You, do? you know, I got yeah, I gotta be way more comfortable with the, the lights on. I gotta be super activated to put them lights on like that. I could yeah. do it, but I, it takes me time. But I'm not really in the mirror type dude. I like I said, I'm ignorance and bliss. I ain't trying to see all that. Let's just have a good time. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just keep it cordial in the darkness. You know what I mean? That's how you get real and they get more, you know what I'm saying, happier. And get more, you know, liquidy when the darkness. You the know darkness what I'm saying? Is but some women do like the lights, of course. You know what I mean? But wait, we got to get to that. I ain't just uh, like I'm. I'm, a, I'm a, I do it, but I ain't the freakiest freak in the world. Lights on and all that broad day. Well, come on, man. Y'all doing too goddamn much. Chill out. Well, that's that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't. It ain't like oh, we got to get the lights on. I want to see everything. Like calm some, the fuck. Some guys down. do. Like I know, that. and I get. I'm talking about men. Right. I ain't too caught up on that. Let me see all the dripping and all. I'm cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably later on when I'm activated, but it ain't not my thing. I'm in the darkness. I'm a gargoyle. Right. You like the lights on? No. Darkness, huh? Darkness. Oh, yeah. I know you like the dark, girl. Dark me. Right. Think I'm I'm evil? Yes. <laughs> She's evil, guys. Why? Watch out for her. You know what I'm Why saying? Why do you think I'm evil? I want to say you evil. You just, you sheltered. You, 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 you've you been through things. You got Sheltered has not been through things. I mean, sheltered, you sheltered like yourself. Guarded? Yeah, guarded. You're, you sheltered yourself. I, yeah, I said it wrong, but you didn't been through things, so you try to protect yourself. Right. So you try to put up a facade. Like, me and my dog Slim always talked about this. A lot of people act like they gangster, act like they're so tough. They're really just scared and afraid. So they attack first or they do something first to block what's coming at them or right. what happened to them before. Right. And I get that too. You know what I'm saying? I, I do that. I, I try to avoid situations because I know how far I can go. So let me just avoid it and step back. I ain't trying to be the craziest gangster in the world. That shit ain't the move to me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's – and that's most people. Most people are scared and afraid – and dealing with shit, that's why they be tough or they attack first, cause they don't want to be the they don't want to be attacked. You know what I mean? All right. So that's you. Oh, okay. You know what I'm so saying? you're saying Look. I'm scared? Maybe yeah. I, I'm scared of yeah. men. Yeah, men scared are of scary. Men. Yeah, you're scared of men. Why are you so scared of men? Mm. Why is that? Um, probably because I've just been around the worst kind. Right, right. Your 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 choices. My choices. Right. Made see, bad ones. You know what it is? Sometimes you see things and they just look like they could be good. You're like, oh my god. That is the one, right? But it's not. Right, right. I <laughs> you know mean, what I mean, that, sometimes that you you think with your eyes and not right. your mind. Yeah, yeah, that happens with a lot of things. But I say, mm-hmm. you gotta be able to, you know, see the difference in in in, in the same type of features. It's almost like you can well, see. I feel like that. I most men that I'm attracted to, they're kind of all have similar personalities, right? You know, so yeah, it's hard I mean, to separate them. Now I know better. Yeah. But you know, when you're younger, you just girls just want to have fun type of thing. Of course, of course. Yeah, so Everybody I mean, want the bad guy. Everybody want the, you know what I'm saying, tough guy and the crazy guy and the cool guy. Mm-hmm. The girl, guy with all the girls. I want them. I'm going to stop them from getting all the girls. It's never going to happen. Yeah. But but I say it's like this. So it's like if you like a particular car, every car got different packages for the most part, no matter what the car is. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. okay, I got a, a Dodge Challenger out there. You got their basic one, but it's still the Dodge Challenger. Scat Pat, you go all the way to Hellcat, Red Eye Demon. It's the same version but it's just elevated different package right yeah so you just got to find the right package within looking. your model you know what i'm saying yeah, to I go with I'm, I'm good we already established you want to be a motherfucking goddamn you know cat woman you got 17 cats and you know what i'm saying two possums in the in the backyard two I get possums it. yeah hanging up backwards no. on the back porch you know what i'm saying you want to do that i get it yeah. But it's not going to be reality. You're going to run into something that's going to change your mind and change your trajectory of life. You just got to accept it. So at the same I time, you got to let your so. guard down. I, even uh, like Sincere said, we're all going to be like unmarried and single. And Who that said up. that? Sincere. He was here last week. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sincere, man. Yeah. So he said that 
like the next generation or this generation or anyone under 35 is going to we're going to be the least likely like the least married generation I mean, in history. I could see that. I mean, think about it. It was 50 to 55 or I don't know, 60 percent of marriages failed. That's a failing grade. So, like, is that a good process to even be married now? That's what like, I'm saying. So. so I get that, but it doesn't mean you're not gonna have a companion, have a relationship, Probably have not. somebody to be side by side. You know what I mean? You know Land. what they tell me a lot? They said I need to find like a guy who's like, like a nice guy, right? Like, yeah, like the guy who's gonna like do everything for me. Yeah, I mean, but, but you're not I'm not. Gonna, to yeah, I'm not. Yeah, gonna, I'm not gonna want to sleep work. with him. So that's why I'm saying I think I'm just better off. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Where I'm <laughs> like I said, you gotta find the the model. That you like with the package that works for you. Yeah. You like a certain aesthetic, right? That's fine. You want this Dodge Challenger. Now, do you want a scat pack? You want a Hellcat? You want a Demon? It's the same model. You just got to find the right package that fits you. And it takes time to find that. There's no right. rush it. You know what I'm saying? When, if, when it comes, it comes. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> All in you. You know what I'm saying? Sideways, preferably in the morning when you wake up, just throw that motherfucker in there. Boom. And we go back to sleep, wake up, eat some motherfucking goddamn breakfast. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Preferably, I want some egg scrambled little cheese on that motherfucker. Food for thought. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, good to know. Take a sip of the rock star. But yeah, you know, mm -hmm. that is how I go. Like, sometimes you got to understand it's okay to be vulnerable with somebody. It's okay to tell people how you really feel so you can grow with somebody. But it's difficult, right? Mm -hmm. But you got to do that to grow and get some freedom of your life. You can't be running run around by yourself for your whole life. It ain't going to work for you. It's been working for me. Yeah, right. Look at you. What? Look how you're leaning and shit. You look fucking miserable. <gasps> how dare you? I'm just saying. Because I'm leaning, I look miserable. Ooh. First of all, happiness is a Looking like Elvira emotion. daughter. Oh, my God. I fuck with Elvira. Though. I always like that. I want to fuck her. I want to eat that motherfucker from the back. Listen. Eat that motherfucker. Elvira. She's still alive. I don't know. But okay. most people who act like they're super happy end up committing suicide anyway. I mean, for sure. You ain't got to put no facade up. But we come on, man. Having joy, having happiness is an energy that you just exude. You don't got to act like it or show it all the time. But you right. can feel it on somebody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Motherfucking walking around with a dark cloud, they got a dark cloud. Oh, man. Here we go with the dark cloud. I'm just saying. Right. So, like, it is what it is. You can fake like you're happy all day. Cool. We can I, see I don't through think, that. I don't think we're, I'm doing that. No, that's can. what I'm saying. Oh, and okay. people do that. Like, people that do, like you said, they commit suicide. You can see through that if you got some type of common sense. Like, somebody's not really happy. You can be like, everything cool, man. Mm -hmm. You got to have balance in this world. Right. You know what I mean? You have to. Happiness is something that's sought after. It's not easy. You you guaranteed the bullshit. You guaranteed the pain. Right. You're not guaranteed pleasure. You're not guaranteed happiness and joy. Mm -hmm. So you got to go find that. And when you find it, enjoy it, embrace it. It's a difficult task. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seek after it every day. You know what I mean? I dwell in darkness. I was born in a different type of state. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have no trauma as a kid, nothing. I was just born a little different. So I got to go out my way from my natural habitat to be happy, mm -hmm. find new things to do. So I always tell people that. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was money, thought it was cars. Shit didn't help. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Thought it was women. Kind of is. Kind of is the women. Damn, I had a good time in that. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's still not my end all be all. You know what I mean? So I always tell people, find something that makes you happy for real. Happiness is a fleeting emotion. It is. Some days you're happy and some days you're not, right? Yeah, it's probably the hardest emotion to obtain consistently right. in the world we live in. Right. So, But go out your way to get that, though. Mm -hmm. That's your job to pursue it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't give up to find the, the, the best thing you can ha possibly have for yourself. Do you think that relationships make you happy? Uh, the right person. If you got if you got a seamless interaction, conversation, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're reciprocating what you're giving and what you're taking. Uh, it'd be, you it's don't magical. have it. You don't even have it. I have friends like that, though. I don't have a woman like that. I know, but it's not the same. It ain't the same. Right. It ain't the same. But I know what it is now. And I just got that in recent years. So now I can understand. I can translate that to a woman's situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know how to go out my own way sometimes to make the effort that I normally wouldn't. I know I'm right. like, fuck you, fuck you completely. You know what I'm saying? So right. I don't give a... But now I'm like, let me think about it. Was I wrong? Matter of fact, let me help them because they probably can't even mm -hmm. input what I'm giving them. Let right. me take the extra effort. I normally wouldn't take no fucking effort. Right. But I'm growing as a man. So I'm preparing myself to be a good man. That's you know good. what I'm saying? It's what do you, time. What's a good man? I mean, a good man is a person that is, um, like I said, is honest, mm -hmm. trustworthy, got loyalty and integrity, but also reciprocate the energy and has to be, have to put your guard down. 
with mm-hmm. your real woman. You can't be guarded all the time. Of course, you got to protect your ferociousness mm-hmm. and they got to always respect your your ferociousness, but you also got to give them that tender side too. You got to have those real conversations like, baby, I don't like that. That shit fucked me up. How can we fix this? Because mm-hmm. you give her that, she's going to give you everything because she normally ain't going to get that. Especially right. from a real stand-up monster. Right. If a real monster, Beauty and the Beast motherfucker taking the room like, hey, baby, I ain't like that shit. We got to fix this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's going to appreciate that. Right. You got to understand. Bell was going to fuck that beast looking like that. She didn't know he was a fucking prince and underneath that money. She got to fuck that full monster, man. Right. Understand that. Because he was giving her real shit. I mean, he kind of like took her hostage first. I mean, any rich as fuck, big ass fucking mansion, no matter what. Uh, that buddy was talking, wasn't it? Shout yeah. out to him, man. Shout out to the beast. I fuck with the beast. But no, for real though, I feel that. And I'm not perfect at it. I'm I'm learning. I haven't even been in that many relationships, but I'm learning now. But I can see it because I've seen relationships. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've seen them um, close. I got three friends that have legendary relationships. You know what I'm saying? And I see them close hand. I see how they operate. So I could gauge it. Like, okay, I see how this works. So I'm growing. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? I, I, shit, it's it going to take a while, but I'm understanding more. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Getting I'm understanding older. more. Yeah, I'm getting older. I guess that's what it is. Come with time. Right. You know, I'm a little wisdom. You that's, know what I mean? A little longer in the tooth. I can't believe you never smoked anything before. Yeah, I know. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, that's part of my, I guess, like I said, I think that part was- Part of your a, brand? Not even part of my brand. I turned down millions of dollar deals to do like dispensaries and Mr. Organic dispensaries and strands and shit before. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but God wanted to do um, a dispensary, Mr. Organic dispensary. You remember I had the color beard, beard and shit, had mm-hmm. me up there. I, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, I know. I kind of wanted to shit. Now nah, I ain't going to lie. I type want to circle back. Damn, I need that right. money now. Let me get it's too late. I know it's too late now. Ain't that a business? The, the business is just one to shit. I know, but you know, I got integrity. I'm going to stand on what I stand on sometimes, win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? Like, I took plenty of losses, especially this year and last year, and it was all right. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, it don't matter. It is what it is. Bosses bounce back. They you do. know what I'm saying? I, I had it to lose, and I got it to get back. And I got it to motherfucking to sit on too. So it's part of life. It. Yeah, I you love it. You have to lose shit to get to get like further. Yeah, people are afraid of that part. They're afraid of the loss. They're afraid of the the, the hurt, the pain. Like I said earlier, like mm-hmm. that's the guarantee part. The winning is is the glory because everybody don't get that part of the story. Right. So if you get through all that and you win, now you somebody. Now you did something. How are you afraid to go through the fire? You know what I'm saying? But you want the gold at the end to melt it at the pot. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me everything. I want to feel it because I want to feel it at the highest level when I win. Right. I like a bounce back. It feel better than a come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. Like that second round be feeling better than that first round sometimes. Mm-hmm. Especially if, you, if you've been holding on that motherfucker two months, you skirting two. Ah, another quit, baby. Let me get back that second round. I'm going to come stiff. You, you, ever, you ever lived with a girl before? Yes, I have. Mm. I lived with a girl before I did. For how long? Um, how long was it? It was like, I said like a year and a half. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because somebody shot up um, my apartment and um, I had to leave and find somewhere else to live. I was with, staying with my brother in Marquette for a little while. Shout out to my brother, Trent. Appreciate you, brother. And um, I had a girl back in Minnesota. And she was like, you, yeah. Why did you live in Minnesota? Well, I was selling drugs, shooting people, robbing people, and coyote in, uh, in Arizona. So I had to get out of there. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, and uh, yeah. So I go to uh, Minnesota. Was there? Had a great time. But yeah, that girl. She was a great girl, actually. Like a real deal, top level girl. And I fucked up with her. Mm-hmm. And it's only one I truly regret. Like, damn, that was a legendary girl. She was, like the finest girl in the whole shit too. Mm-hmm. I fucked it up. How? You know what I'm saying? I was just cheating, mm-hmm. being a nothing motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I had to find myself though. But she let me live with her. And um, it was a dope time, you know what I'm saying? And she was cool. She'd give me her car. She'd go to work and school. And I'd go get the car, go fuck other bitches and bring them in the house when she gone. And just doing real vigilante shit, man. I was fucked up. And this was Why a legendary girl. Why do men do girl. that? Because we ain't shit. We got to learn. And I was broke, too. So I had to, I had to slang my... And that was my side hustle was fucking pussy, you know what I'm saying, to get money for the household. You know what I'm saying? I was slang no, dick. No, no, no. Yeah, Rewind you know? it. Tell me about it. I mean, listen. It boils down to when you broke, Mm-hmm. You slinging the best dick possible because you fucking for your life literally. You hear mm-hmm. me? So like when I was broke, I was dropping that that Thor hammer and pussy sideways, upside down. I'm doing everything, eating everything, whatever it took. When you ask for money from girls, and then you ask, you got to do it. How, it's, it's how, too, does, it, you how fuck does it work? It. Okay, the first time is free. Second time 
It's on me. The third time, because they're going to be addicted now. Literally, they're going to be addicted. So mm-hmm. they're going to come back, oh, baby, hey, baby, I'm, hey, I can't, I ain't feeling it right now, baby. I got this motherfucking bill due. I don't know. Oh, baby, what's going on? I say, I need a little money. Oh, I can come drop that bread off and then shit. I come meet you, but I need to take care of this. Do you feel like shit? I- Hell no. That was the time of my life fucking for money. Shit, I was fucking the brace. All the women it was good pussy, good fucking. I got me some good money. Kept me fly. I was paying for me and my homie groceries and shit. We was going, I paying phone bills. I got a car off that shit for sure. I yeah. feel like women trick more than men. Most definitely, the right. If you the right one, you could you could do it the right way. We're gonna be more because, like we say, oh, if you run across that that legendary cock meat, you gonna go out your way to keep that thing around because it's rare, especially attached to a good looking motherfucker, funny motherfucker, fly motherfucker nigga. This ain't got that much money, but he got everything else. You can help with that part. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a woman's brain. He got everything else I like. He ain't got no money. I got the money. Let me help him. Gotcha. Boom, boom, boom. All up in that pussy. You yeah, know we're too nice. We try to help people who don't deserve it. I love, hey, I love a nice woman. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I said, they always help me. So, yeah, if, if a broke nigga gonna slay that best dick possible, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I wish I was fucking when I was broke. I, I, I ain't got the same fuckery. You know what's crazy? The, I, I only met broke dudes when I moved to L.A., I mean, because people really try to pursue their dream or they, and they expensive as fuck, right? This is the most expensive city in the goddamn world. So, like, either they was trying to do something and gave mm-hmm. up or they realized they can't maintain their life they're trying to obtain. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, they, they got to do what they do. Got to do what they do. And they got to slay that dick. When I moved out here, yeah, I, I didn't know anybody. Right. Right. I came here with, like, $20,000 and I moved to, That's a good you know, song. 1010 Wilshire in downtown? No, I don't know that one. I was at Circle when I moved here, so. Mm. Anyway, it's like a... It's like a nice building in downtown. Yeah. So I met this dude. He was from New York. Mm-hmm. And like, I didn't realize that people from New York are different until I really moved here. Mm-hmm. So he was cool as shit. And every time I would see him, he'd be like in these tailored suits. Damn. Yeah, tailored suits. Like, you know, like he really knew how to dress. And I noticed a lot of guys who, who don't have money know how to dress. You really got to well. know dress. You got to bait the pussy. Yes. Yeah. You got to so throw the chum in the water. He had the shoes and the colored shirts. And like, he looked like. Like, what do you do? You know, like, you look like important, you right. know? And so, I don't know, he started hanging, we started hanging out, like, smoking, and then, like, it was just fun, you know? But then I noticed, like, he would just sleep over. <laughs> right. And I'm like, what the fuck? He was playing the seat. Yep. Yeah. I, but I, w- I never had that happen to you before, so I, I wasn't, like, I was confused. I thought maybe it was just, like, happening. So he would sleep over, and then he just, like, wouldn't leave. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what do I do? Like, yeah. how do I get rid of him? So... I went to get coffee for us one morning and these girls came up to me and they were like, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. I was like, who are these? I don't even know anyone out here. You know what I mean? They're like, is Sean living with you? Do you say names? Yeah, it's okay. He doesn't live out here anymore. He lives in the Philippines. I don't care. Fuck him. Oh, shit. Um, Hey, Sean, I had nothing to do with it, brother. You did what you had to do. So I was like... She's like, do you know? She's like, I just want to let you know that he's been like staying at my boyfriend's house. He's been living there for a year. And all the clothes that he wears, are my my boyfriend's a tailor and it's all his clothes. Damn. She ratted. Who is this bitch? I'm like, Hey, now, what? bitch, my dog was putting the play down. I'm like, what? Shocked you, huh? Yes. Was he, was he? Wait. I ain't trying to get, okay. Go ahead. What? So then I walked back upstairs. I was like, yo, can I talk to you real quick? Right. And he wasn't, he's like, talk to me here. I'm like, no, I want to like talk to you outside because, Ooh, yeah. you know, I'm trying to like get the fuck out of here. He knew. Of course. Yeah, he, he did it before. Come on, yeah. he's a professional. He's he's got a pro- he was on. a professional. Oh, he 007 okay? a slinging broke dick. Yeah. Oh my God. And he wouldn't leave. Of course not. And he started crying. Like, I have Oh, you got to break the tears out. Yeah. I done brought the tears out before. He's like, I ha- he said he had a job lined up in the Philippines. Yeah, he did. He did. Shout out to my guy, Shot. He really did. I know he did. But he I had, he had like, he was missing like shoes and like, take, I don't know, whatever he was missing, I was like, yo, I'm going to get that for you. Get the fuck hey, out of my house. Blessing. It was a blessing to him. Yeah. So was he, was he, okay, he was flying out, but he really give you he that good love cool. making? He was cool. Yeah, he was cool. But was, I just, yeah. once you start with that. that thing good though, yeah. Tell yeah. the truth now. Yeah, it, it, it was good enough. Shout out to my nigga Sean but, laying down that motherfucker broke dick on the but I, don't, but I don't, I'm not with that. Like, once you start acting, like, I'm I'm just turned off after that. Like, I don't care what you do. It's like, I don't really want to fuck So, you okay, if he was honest, right? Like, hey, baby, I look good. I'm working hard. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to build my situation. Mm-hmm. It ain't all the way there yet. That so, would have been better. Right. 
Yeah, that See, that's what been I better. always did. I came with it. I'm going to tell you guys what to do, guys. Let me tell you how sure, to do this. Because I'm the God of this shit. You know what I'm saying? It helped me my whole life. Um, You got to you gotta give them that good affection. You know, mm-hmm. give them some good laughter and all. Of course, you got to have personality, right? You have to have personality. And when you fuck that pussy the first time, it got to be the most death stroke pussy you ever fucked in your life. You got to destroy it the first mm-hmm. time. Second time, same thing. Third time, they're going to come back. That's when you hit them with the sob story. <laughs> You got to give them the sob story, guys. Tell them what you're going through. Tell them what you've been through. Tell them where you're trying to go. Mm-hmm. They going to understand. Know why? Because you delivered dope dick to them already. They mm-hmm. did to that. You already took them on good dates, good conversation, like your personality. Now you give them that sob story. Now they're going to feel compassionate to help you grow and go. Okay. That's how you do it, guys. Organic uh, seeds are great. Don't feel compassionate for these dudes. They don't deserve nothing. Throw but them some out. people are, like I said, I was that same guy. And every girl I did that with, I keep running red. We still cool. Mm-hmm. I said probably one I still owe I owe you I'm sorry about the car that one time I <laughs> shit did that I got you back I owe her what do you owe her a car? yeah yeah cause she did a car for me and I she and you I crashed and I, it? no cause she got me a car uh huh and I was paying it everything was in her name I'm keeping it real. Don't I, don't I, put anything in your name either. No, that's a, but you got to get the right. I was wrong for what I did, but I did it before a couple of times and I did them right, every one. But this one I did do wrong and I do or and I'm going to get it right. But yeah, and, I, and what I did was because my credit was jacked up and I didn't have my license. So what I did while she got me the car, I was building my shit up and I got my credit right, got my driver's license right, right? I was trying to do the right thing, trade the car in for a new one, right? As I go to trade in for a new one, they said, hey, you approved for the new one. Yay. I did it. I got my driver's license, got my credit right. God is great, right? Mm-hmm. They said, but one condition. You can't trade in that motherfucking car. It's going to make your car too expensive and the loan is going to be denied. I said, damn. So two days I sat in a dilemma. Like, so you wanted to crash it for insurance? I wouldn't do that. I don't commit no crimes. I, Jarvis Dante Rivers, JDR, did not commit crimes. I would never do that. Mm-hmm. So I was like, damn, what do I do? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I got to get this car. This is mm-hmm. going to be my liberation. My first, going to be my first new car. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing as a man. I did everything right. Mm-hmm. But I can't bring this car with me. I can't pay it off and they ain't going to take it to the loan. Mm-hmm. So I just told her like, I'm sorry. I got the new car. I told her, come pick this car up. That's your business. Come get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I ordered that and I'm, I'm going to take care of her sure. She knows who she is and I got you. Yeah, okay. That didn't make me reiterate that. They yeah, never, but they I gave never her the best. Paid. She still loved me, though. I, got, I was slaughtering that pussy, so that was kind of even trade on God yeah. to keep it pure with you. Shit, fuck all that to keep it. I'm dropping. You, God. Know, you know what I noticed about these guys? They all are cute, and they all know how to dress. And yeah. they're Well, some of them, actually, the better looking they are, like if they're really good looking, they have really bad personalities. They're not funny. Right. They're just like really attractive. Right. But they have nothing. Right. So they, they don't stay for long, those ones. Yeah, but you, the per- it's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to The personality work. is the main component. It is. And the ambition and the fitness, right? Because you got to look like a complete package besides one thing. Your love, your compassion, mm-hmm. and a little bit of compensation, baby. And I'm going to go where I got to go. Trust me. And guess who's going to be by my motherfucking side? You, baby. No. You got some nectar on your hand for me? No. It's not. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah. Mm, still smell like petunias. <laughs> That's my favorite flower. It is. Yeah. Remember that. You know. So I like flowers. Baby. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let me eat it. You know what I'm saying? But listen though. Yeah. That's how it is, man. So shout out to all my guys struggling, bro. But if you go and do this procedure, you no, know what I'm don't do it. If you get deli- a fucking job, and if you're delivering broke bomb. dick, you know what I'm saying. And you're on your grind trying to be ambitious and be something like for real. Make sure whatever you do, if you got to do what you got to do, make sure in the end you cover your tracks. You know what I'm saying? Do them right. I Only one person I did wrong and I owe her and I just kind of reiterate my thought patterns and I'm going to get it right. But everybody else, I did cool. You know what I'm saying? In your mind. In my mind. They all talk to me still to this day. You know what I'm saying? Girls are nice. I mean, and then I'm that nigga though too. Women like, think are about just that. Like, too nice. Think about that. I'm that nigga for real. Not on that level. Humble three of them. Jarvis, Dante, Rivers, calm down. I got to talk to myself. Mm-hmm. I got to do better. I'm not that nigga. I'm just a person. I think you're person. doing better. I'm just a person that's working hard. I've seen hard. some of your lives. You see? <laughs> oh, you saw the live? On Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, I like going Instagram live. You know what I'm saying? It's no, fun. I'm saying from like a year ago. Oh, shit. You're talking about the... Ago. I don't know how I even found you, but I, I've seen some of your lives. You already. ever seen my old lives from five, six years ago? No. Don't look at them. I was a, I was crazy. I was a different monster. 
But I, it's like how people live streaming shit now doing that six years ago for hours, six hours. I'm about to get back into it. I'm about to get into kicking all that. Shout out to my guy Zerka should. and all them guys. I'm going to tap in. I fuck with Zerka. He retarded, but I'm retarded I too. I don't fuck with him like I'm that. Finna, I'm going to do my guys. I'm going to go to work. No, I'm about to get I on know. that. You know what I'm about to do. You know what I'm about to do. Yeah. You better, I'm going to get $100 million. You going to fuck with me or not? Yeah. That's I fuck girl. with you now. That's my girl. See, hell good. She ain't got to worry about shit because she with the God. You know what I mean? She mm-hmm. let me come on her platform, have a good time. That's what it's all about, man. You find good people, do them right, treat them right. Go out your way, you know what I'm saying, to mm-hmm. um, reciprocate the greatness. People don't do that nowadays, right? Right. It's, it's a shame. And I got better at it. I wasn't that good at it before. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm growing like a motherfucker, and I, I want to keep growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's been a process this year. But it's good, right? It's a beautiful thing. I'm enjoying it. It's the only it. way to grow is to That's go probably one of some the most, shit. Yeah, I went through a lot of anxiety last two years. A lot of stress and shit this year of taking these big leaps of faith. And guess what? I love it. Yeah. You know what I saw on Instagram? Some uh, therapist dude, or maybe Ty, Ty Lopez or whatever. He said that guys that have a lot of tattoos have high anxiety. Did for you see sure. That? Yeah. This is my pain. This is my therapy. Even though I love art, mm-hmm. I'm an artist at heart, creative at art. I always drew um, one of my best cars I ever did. I had an artist draw it. I did the whole left side. Most people don't know I drew on it too. I always was a creative artist. Mm-hmm. person. Mm-hmm. I love Japanese culture. I used to watch that shit and want to be a yukazi and have my whole body tatted. That's why my body is like this. Mm-hmm. But for sure, because it's pain, it's therapy, and it's also, it's life. It costs a lot of money to live life, and it, and it come with a lot of pain, but you get the glory at the end, and that's what a tattoo is. So when this shit done, it cost me a lot of money, went through hours of pain, and I went through it, and look what I got from it, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So, you know, your body is a, is a temple, they say. Mine is a pyramid covered in hieroglyphics. Mm-hmm. Read me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Read me. Okay. It's a story to be told. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so, how comes, do you, what do you do with your anxiety since you don't do drugs? Um, work out. You know, do you take um, pills? Like, no, I never took pills in my life. I barely even take like Tylenol or like, uh, what's that shit? Like when you get hurt or some shit. I don't, Motrin? Yeah, I don't take none of that bullshit. I can't even do it. Um, so, what do you do? I work out. Um, I just listen to stoic messages. That's my favorite thing. Like stoic quotes and messages from, you know, Socrates and Plato and all that type shit and uh, Alexander the Great. I listen to that shit all day. Genghis that Khan, my you? favorite conqueror. Yeah, yeah. I study that shit. I study that shit like a past. So anybody on my Instagram, you see me always putting that type shit up because mm-hmm. I I'm I'm really on that all the time. Mm. So my algorithm is filled with stoic messages and affirmations because I live by the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think more people need to live by the things they they like um, post or look and read. Live by the shit. Stop just reading this shit or making quotes. I I am that shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, I want people to tap into that more. Like, it's there for you. Use it to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? Become it. Become it. But I love the gym. The gym get me right. You know, I think everybody need to be in the gym. I think everybody need to take up some type of art of, you know, judo, boxing, or some shit you could hurt a motherfucker. Like, get that out. You got to have it as a man. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, everybody so caught up in chasing money. That's what we have to have regardless, right? Every day we wake up, we got to get money. Everything costs, right? Mm-hmm. But we don't have to be healthy and we don't have to be happy. Let's pursue that a little bit more. Put some energy to that. And that's what I pursue. The money going to come. Right. I'm a money magnet. I am like, I'm magnanimous when it comes to money. I got it my whole life. But um, like I said, I want to be happy and healthy at the highest level. I've never been out of shape in my life. I want to stay that way. I don't think you're going to get out of shape. I never. Because you're addicted to the gym, I'm right? I'm addicted to I love it. I make love to the way it's raw. I just come in that motherfucker just slow stroke it, too. I want to look it in the eyes when I'm in that gym. I want to kiss the mouth. All the monsters the live in the gym. Yes, they have to, though. So now I'm going to activate my 5 a.m. monster, too. Like when I get to you where I get to. two a days? Yep, 5 a.m., wake up. And I'm going to get back to doing two vlogs a day and waking up, doing my workout regimen, manifestation, hit the gym early. Handle my business and then whatever else come extra. But I'm I'm gonna tap back into my 5 a.m. awakeness. Mm-hmm. That's gargoyle time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I need everybody to get ferocious out here. You know, you what wake I mean? up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Is there something about that? Me and my dog Slim, tall guy. Shout out to my guy too. Hey, I see him back doing his vlogs and his car reviews. Man, shout out to Slim. But yeah, that when we used to do that shit, it took everything to another level. I don't know what it is because I hate the morning. I'm a gargoyle. I'm in darkness. I mm-hmm. love darkness. I sleep. I take naps, but. When I wake up at 5 in the morning, it do something to you. Like what? Because you know you're up earlier than everybody else. And you're doing okay. something nobody else want to do. I'm working out. 
These motherfuckers sleeping in bed. I'm up working out, putting pain on my body. I ain't playing with nobody. Now I'm up early. By the time I'm done working out, now I'm up activated. I go make the phone call, get the email off, check the merch. You know what I'm saying? Checking my content, make sure it's moving. By 7, 8, I done did four or five things that somebody ain't did shame and woke up yet. By the time I get to 10, I done had a whole day done. Now I can start again. I got three, four days in one. Mm. That's the 5 a.m. understandery. You wake your ass up early, get it done, get that done. You're getting fucking three days in one. You do it that way. Okay. That's why it's super important. Any motherfucker you know waking up 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. and they ain't doing it for like, they ain't no athlete or nothing for sports. It is getting up on their own reconnaissance as a normal person. Mm-hmm. They a boss. Mm. They getting to it. Okay. I promise you that. It's Goes for women too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. I know because you, I'm, I'm so ill. I'm just I eat plums and shit and goddamn. Get what? your ass up and let's get to it. Why, why we got would hundreds I get, of minutes to get ill. Why would I get up at 5 a.m. for what? Because you're going to get. I'm up at 7. Get up at 5. See what that do for you. And go do some shit. Don't get up at seven like I sit in the bed looking at emails. No, get your ass up and out the house. Mm -hmm. It ain't even, you can't even like, even if you stay like in a building, because I used to try to cheat that. And they're like, no, don't try to wake up and then go to your building gym and work out. No, no, motherfucker. Get out the house, get in the car, go somewhere or run or go do something outside. Mm. Don't try to be slick with the shit. Right. Go put in some work. It always pays off. Yeah. I don't, people don't get it. Like when you really ambitious and really put that shit in. It always come back tenfold. It might be long. It might be goddamn dark. I don't know where it's going to come. But when it comes, you be like, nigga, it was worth it. Yeah. This is what it was for. Damn it, I didn't know. But I kept going. Now, look, thank you mm-hmm. for allowing me to go through it. Right. Only, only, only the great ones get that, man. And I, I always was programmed that way. It was never easy for me. Good. Yeah. All the attributes in the world. So give me the hard shit. Fuck it. I'm trying to be the one of the motherfucker ones, man. You are. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And I know the more one of the ones I am, the more I can strike that in other people. You know what right. I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. God gave me everything I wanted. You understand that, L? I prayed for two things as a kid. But you know what? what I prayed for as a kid? Tell me. I wanted to be six six like Michael Jordan. How tall am I? Six six. I wanted a big penis so no girl could say nothing to me. Guess what I got? A ten incher with length, girth, and veins in it. What's wrong with you? And it's stiff. It go to the belly button every time above it. At forty two, God is great. Oh my God! And I and everything else I can earn on my own. L. That's what I promise God. Do you realize every time you go on a podcast, you talk about I know I'm trying to stop that. I'm gonna stop doing that because that's one. I I I want to stop talking about. I mean, but like you're tall already. We know. I know, but that don't mean you got that motherfucker though. That ain't guaranteed all the time. Not guaranteed. Like ninety percent. Hey, but ten percent is still goddamn chance. But you you said it already. I gotta stop saying. I know. I apologize, people. Wild. I'm gonna stop saying that. But I prayed for that. I did. You did, and I knew I could earn everything else. I knew. But I'd didn't get the money. you know from like a young age? No, I didn't be, know. Ha, ha, I how do you know? know? Like, when does it grow to I full know. size? I didn't know. The girls kind of keep telling me, mm. and I didn't know. I'm like, damn. They're like, well, hold on. They wouldn't let me go. Mm. They grabbed me, pulling me in the rooms. They fucking took advantage of me. Once again, mm. I've been taken advantage of by women my whole life. Right. I have. Mm-hmm. So I'm traumatized from that. No, you're not. Help me. <laughs> Why y'all do be like that? God damn it. So, but you know, it goes back to, I, I do mean that, but everything else I wanted to earn. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be able to be smart. I wanted, everybody should have to go pursue some smarts and understanding and knowledge and, you know, personality and creativity and know how to dress and all that shit. That shit you can get. Mm-hmm. The two things I know I couldn't get on my own was those two things. Mm-hmm. Everything else I knew I could earn. Right. And I did. Nothing was given to me. I didn't deserve nothing. I earned everything. Right. And everybody got to understand that. They always feel like they should get a handout or, man, put me on. But come on, bro, go earn that shit. It's going to feel so much better. Yeah. Earn everything. Could nobody tell you shit? Put me on is crazy. I am? No, I said put me on is crazy. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, what you want to be put on to, baby? I'll put you on right no, now. No, no, no. Oh, okay. no. I, don't, I don't need to be Ooh, put Ooh, I on. know, but I know your boss. L got millions of dollars, everybody. No. Look at her. Put the camera on her. No, sorry. <laughs> but she don't got to put on what? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that is crazy to put on or help me out, big bro. Nigga, I don't know you. I'm 42 <laughs> years old. You think I got family, friends I know my whole life? You just send me a DM. You haven't got a fucking avatar picture or nothing. And you talking about put you on? Mm. Who the fuck are you, sir? God bless you on your path. Go do work. And God will put you on. Right. Don't ask a man to put you on. Don't ask or a woman, woman to put you on. Ask God to put you on. A lot of men be asking. By what? earning it. Yeah. Yeah, but you got you guys want to put you on, but you got to slain that pipe and have everything else with it though. 
Yeah. You slaying that pipe. You got that pipe. You get put on, brother, by a woman for sure. But a young one or a fat one. Yeah. Or or no, don't disrespect the fat. Hey, BBWs, I love you, Honey Bun. Hey, Honey Bun clothing coming soon. I'm working on my samples right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Elg's gonna wear it too. And it's not just for big Whoa. women, but I'm a, a big woman can have it. But it's mm-hmm. from petite all the way up to my plus size ladies. Honey Bun clothing coming soon. Watch out for that. You yeah, they're going to love that shit. For sure. It's going to be a blessing. I appreciate my BBWs. I got love for y'all still. You know what I'm uh, saying? I won't call them fat anymore. They they're just They're them. just big. Some of them was getting mad too. Like, oh, he said we're, he said we're nice. He no, said we got good, good jobs. Like, yeah. what the fuck are you mad at that? Because, nice. Because they get taken advantage okay, of. Okay, I get that. But let me say what I mean by that. Nice means you have a good personality. That's nice. That's good to me. That's a good thing. Yeah, but you said you wouldn't take them out in public. So when did I say that? On the podcast. I won't take no woman in public, really. So don't try to put that ass on the big ones. Okay. Honey bun clothing. No, I'm saying I, I, I'm not a in public nigga like that anyway. Anybody. So it's not like I'm discriminating. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I like I and the ones I like the certain the, the shape BBW one mm-hmm. thick ones. I take the motherfuckers that. What the fuck are they talking about? The ones I like that got the shape of the ass and the titties and they got the little stomach type, whatever, I'm going to take them out in public. I'm not the... Who the fuck they talking about, man? You said it. I, I was talking about... I don't know what they talking about. You were talking about other men. Yeah, them niggas. Mm. I takes them out. Because understand, like I said, the, even the picture that we was going off, this is BBW, shot her with Tokyo Drift. She followed me, man. Appreciate you, baby. I was saying like that type style. Mm. That type style. Y'all go look her up. Style I like. <laughs> I don't know what like they like. I ain't a, I, you know me. I take them out in public. The fuck are they talk about? Mm. So I, I, I tell you know what I mean? Take them out to eat. They gotta eat. They gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feed them. You know what I'm saying? Feed them some meat, then you feed them some motherfucking meat. You hear me? Yeah. Be discreet in the sheets. Oh, honey okay. buns for everybody. You know what I mean? Maybe you should sell honey buns. Like a start a bakery. I need to come with the Mr. Organic honey buns too. Mm-hmm. Cause I got the strawberry shortcake with the red light, red light runner. I run the red light. Skr, skr, stop sign. Nope. I'm you realize I'm I'm a female, right? I know. I can't really get down with that. It's, Damn gro- it. it's gross. Yeah, you said that. It's not gross. Like women, because you got and, and once again, like I said, it's like when it's not the first people think when I said first night, like it's the first night of the period. Okay. Nigga, fuck no. I ain't I ain't fucking Michael Myers. I'm talking about if we chilling, right? Mm-hmm. We had a great date. We get back to the crib. You What's a me? great date? I don't know. I ain't no date, nigga. I'm just lying so, like it's great. But we had a great date for this. God damn it, let's go to the store. Okay. Had a great date and shit and blah, 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 blah. And hey, go back to the house. Okay, I want to come to the house. Yeah, we chilling, mm-hmm. watching TV or whatever in the bed. You're kissing on me and shit. I'm kissing on you. I'm grabbing that ass, spreading the pussy at the bottom. And I try to touch that pussy. Stop me because, you know, you're on your shit. I'm like, damn, why you stop me? I'm on my thing. I want to do it, but I'm on my thing. Mm-hmm. What? This is what you do, baby. Go to that bathroom. Take, pop that motherfucker out, flush it, wrap it in fuck tissue. You grab that motherfucker towel, prefer me that black one. I got a black one designated. Grab that one. We're going to lay it on this motherfucking bed. We're going to complete the mission tonight. Because mm. I might not see you again. It's not a guarantee. You might change your mind. They might see me with another girl like it's supposed to. You probably get mad at me. Let's complete the mission tonight, baby. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. I'm not no nigga like... I'm gonna fuck you a few times and then we chill another time. I'm gonna come over. I'm on my periods. It's cool. No, it ain't cool. It ain't cool no more. So she can't come over if she's man. On the- no. Why are you coming over here? Now, like I said, if it's the first time we ever fucked, oh that's what God. I mean. I'm with that. But if you talking about something, well, what if she wants to hang out with you? Oh, I'm cool with hanging out, baby. I want to fuck you. Hang out with me. We got to fuck too. Really? Yeah, for the most part. You can't just. It hang depends out? on the. It depends on the girl, of course. I'm talking about on a on we on one that we just on that type of time. Mm-hmm. So let me get let me calm down. Get too hype. Let me take no, a sip. That's okay. Okay. Do your thing. I am. I'm talking about a girl that's just. <laughs> I'm talking about a girl. I'm talking about a girl that's your just on fucking time. Right. Not a girl we cool with. That's different. We can chill. Right. I ain't even tripping on that. But I'm talking, girl, if I, we hung out three times, we fucked three times. That's all we ever done. We never turned on TV. No, nothing. We just fucking. And you know, I'm going to come over. I, you know, I want to come over and, uh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm on my period. Don't come. You ain't coming tonight. When that motherfucker overcome. Mm. Yeah. But if it's the first time we ever hung out, I'm cool. But it ain't going to be like repetition. No, sir. I ain't with all that shit now. That's where they're missing a part of the story. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let me add that to it now. Bitch, don't come over again. You done. Come on now. Fuck out of here. I didn't fuck you already. I need to get that one out the system. You see what I'm saying? Because I might, something might fuck it up. You might not be in this position again. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So let's get this done. So would you do it now? What you mean? Like, would you fuck a girl that you don't know on her period today? 
First time, yeah. You would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not like grossed out by like blood. Uh, I'm a girl, I'm 42. The guys, I'm not blood out pussy anyway. Yeah, I got that. You, I got what? that Shaka Zulu spear. I'm a Shaka, Shaka Lulu spear fucking thrower. So I'm knocking blood out most time. Anyway, I'm hitting cervix. I'm knocking out IDUs. I'm touching all that back there. IUDs. IB do Ws. <laughs> BBWs. I'm hitting all that extracurricular shit. Uteruses and all that. I'm. I, I touch a cervix. I know exactly what them fucking feel like. I'm like, what is that? So. I'm knocking blood out most times, sometimes anyway, mm -hmm. for the most part. So I'm not. And on top of that, once again, how we like it? Dark. So I'm not seeing that shit no way. It's extra juices for the goddamn mooshes. Mm. I ain't tripping. Okay. Jump in the shower. Keep the lights off. Wipe me down. Wipe you down. We ain't see nothing. We ain't talking about it no more. God bless America. Ignorance is bliss all up in this bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear me? It's gross. Gross. It's gross anyway. Gross what anyway. sex? Yeah, pussy gross anyway. Pussy. I, I had this. I had this. I had. I said this to somebody, and I, I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but I thought about it. Mm -hmm. Pussy really grosser than goddamn asses to me. Ass got one thing coming out of it for the most part, right? Mm -hmm. Pussy got piss, blood. No, 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 no. hold on. I, I hold mean, on. it's the same hole. I know no, it's a it's, different. It's not the same, I, but it's the same fucking entry. No. You know what the fuck I'm saying. Okay. So piss come out of there. Uh -huh. They get nutted in by guys. Got blood coming out of there. Uh -huh. You got sometimes yeast infection. You got all type of shit going on in there. Mm -hmm. What is nastier? If you go down the street, you see blood, cum, yeast, what? all this the shit. The cum isn't there anymore. But sometimes it is. We just ain't asking questions. Don't ask, don't tell. You never know. Girl could have fucked the nigga night before. There's still some residue. It lasted three, four days, by the way. We know that. So if you fuck a nigga next day, you mixing up cums and all that, but we don't know. So what is Nasher? All this concoction or a little piece of shit right there? Whoa. You walking piece down the street. Shit, shit is more nasty. We see dog shit all the time. If you walk I'm down the street. You're putting your dick in shit. No, I ain't saying putting nothing in. I'm just saying what has got the grosser components. Shit. Yeah, I know you, you're a woman, but y'all talk. Let me know. Am I wrong? We talk, we got we walk down the street. We see some a fucking glob of blood, cum, yeast infection. Got their residue. But first of all, you got piss and all this shit sitting there. Having sex on their yeast infection. I'm just saying, it's still in there. It happened before in most women before in life. That's still some shit that goes on in women's vagina. Different goddamn uh, components. Mm -hmm. You only got one thing coming out of this, yeah. and you got all this coming out of there. Mm -hmm. What is grosser? If you're walking down the street, you see all that shit. You see dog shit and shit all the time. You see all that shit. Oh, my God. What the fuck, blood? Ah! You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on now. But I'm saying they only bleed on their period, so you're not going to see Not it. all the time. I did not bleed plenty of blood out of pussy, man. Right. It happens. But if it's in the dark, how would you know? I'm just saying if, if, you, if it's all on the light, we're going by the light. Mm, okay. So that's what I'm saying. So it's, that's y'all for debate. I'm not saying ain't talking about fucking it. I'm just saying like the What do you talk like just the shit that comes out of there yeah. or goes into it? Yeah, I was talking about because you know it's basically go back to eating ass and all that eating pussy. That's what it boils down to. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So they be like eating ass so nasty, but look all the shit that's in the pussy you're eating. God damn. Oh, you're trying to make like a sales pitch on why a girl should yeah, eat Yeah, eat my ass, baby. Keep crying. We're going to put the feet up like this and the legs behind the motherfucking head, baby. Imagine a six, six you, nigga, 230. On. You putting your heads, your your legs behind your head? Not behind. I'd be like this. Boston Crab, the King Crab. Like a seat. I'm flexible. I, I do the splits and all that. I believe You do splits? Yeah. Oh my god! I'm crazy with it. Like that's what I'm saying. I, the moves I do in the bedroom never been done before. Mother, like I ain't never seen a nigga do all this at your size. How you doing all that? Right. I'm wild with it. I pull that motherfucker this way, had that dick that way, drop it in from the side. Like wow, shit, have you over there? Boom, boom, play the goddamn cello in the pussy. I play the cello in the pussy. Like boom, a harp in the pussy, harp the pussy, harp the pussy. How did I type by that shit? You're so animated. I am. I should be an animated character, Mr. Organic Cartoon on the way for sure. Hey, let's do it. <laughs>